I'm standing in my driveway. My life is good, but I'm questioning where I'm going, what I'm doing with my life. We call it stop, think, observe, and plan. I'm sitting strapped in my seat at the bottom of the Potomac River. I bolt awake and I panic. I know that I shouldn't breathe, but I push and paw for the surface. I try to find a point of reference with my right hand, but I can't find anything that's familiar. I'm not making any progress towards the surface. Our training comes back into my head, and I hear the voices of Soupy and Bill. Stop, think, observe, and plan, and survive. I sit back down and start over, but with my left hand. Feel my leg travel up to my waist and I find the release. At this point I'm free and I push myself to the surface, to jet fuel and debris and darkness and confusion. Damn, it's cold. I'm a trauma nurse, but for myself, where's my stethoscope? I need to assess my breath sounds, and it hurts too much to scream. Standing on the tail of the helicopter, I reassess my life. So many of the things that I thought were important before the moment of impact just seem to have fallen away. It isn't the money or the cars or career that I think about, but walking through my front door, kissing my children goodnight, and sleeping in my own bed. In that moment, I choose to survive. I choose life. Now I'm standing alone at the side of the crash and I look over the edge of the railing into the little cove. And there in the sand, there I am. I grab the rail and I hold my breath. There are goosebumps on my arms. It's the awakening. When I'm depressed, I see the man reaching for nothing. But when I'm a survivor, I see someone fighting for breath and fighting for life, and I, I do see myself. And now, I'm back in that place where everything seems to have been stripped away, and I'm curious as to what I will wake up to tomorrow. <laughs>